What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and in this video I want to outline why I think GM should cut the line with Nikola like yesterday, like two weeks ago, and instead partner together with a couple of companies that I've been following the last year, year and a half. One of them is Bollinger Motors, the second one is Lightning Systems. Now if you've been living under a rock the last three or four months you probably have missed the fact that since Nikola has gone public the company has been an absolute dumpster fire heading downhill on their own momentum whether it's been Trevor Milton's overly optimistic, overly ambitious claims about the company and their product's capabilities, the Hindenburg Research Report that was published, a scathing one at that, the sexual abuse allegations against Trevor Milton, or the ousting of Trevor Milton from the company. And during that time, GM and Nikola announced that they would be doing a partnership where GM would take an 11% stake in the company in exchange for producing the Badger. Now, the one interesting thing that I never really understood was GM was going to be using their own electric drivetrain, the Ultium, as well as their Hydrotech fuel cell technology. The question to me then became, what was it that GM was actually interested in? Was it being associated with a new automotive startup or was it the interest in getting into the semi-truck business with their fuel cell tech? Regardless of GM's interest in Nikola, I think it would better serve the company if they dissolve the partnership and look at other companies that actually are much further along in their product development and technology. Bollinger Motors is the first company that I think GM should consider investing into. They've got an SUV and truck that will hit production late 2021, and they've actually got real products that have been on the road being tested, and their capabilities are actually really, really impressive. Their trucks will have a 5,000 pound payload, a 7,500 pound towing capacity, an 8.6 cubic feet frunk for your frunk puppy, 113 cubic feet interior, a 200 mile range. It'll have level one and level two charging. It'll also have level three DC fast charging. This vehicle is actually an off-roader's wet dream. It'll have a 7.8 power to weight ratio, a two speed high low range gearbox, front and rear locking differentials, geared axle hubs, 11.75 inch vented brakes, and four wheel anti-lock inboard discs. These guys have a really solid product and they've done all of this through private funding so far. If GM can come in and make an investment into the company in exchange for their technology or in exchange for their platform, I think there could be some really nice symbiosis between the two companies. I wanna take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, Piedmont Lithium. They're publicly traded on the NASDAQ at PLL and you may have heard that they signed an agreement with Tesla to provide spodramine hard rock that will then get processed into lithium and go into Tesla's electric vehicles. I think that they're going to be an important player in the lithium space, and I think you should check them out. I'll put their website in the video description and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the company. Now, back to the video. Now, the next company I think GM should invest into is Lightning Systems. They're a company that takes gas and diesel trucks and converts them into electric. They develop their own electric drivetrain using third-party vendors and their own software to be able to manage the BMS. They've managed to corral in some very impressive brands that are now using their electric vehicles like Ace Parking, Amazon, DHL, and California State Hospitals. This is a real company selling real products and I think that if GM could make an investment into them, they might be able to use their technology to further their class eight ambitions. Now I've had a chance to talk with both of these CEOs and they're as genuine as they get. You don't hear them making overly ambitious claims, and I think that both of these CEOs would say they prefer to let their products speak louder than words. What do you think? Do you think GM would be better served by partnering with companies like this over Nikola? Sound off in the comments down below. Sean Mitchell, All Things EV. A big shout out to Patreon supporters for helping fund the channel. I'll catch everyone on the next video.